Yo, 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 what's up, gang? I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're talking about SpongeBob Season 13 airs. These are all new episodes that literally aired in June, so they're all fresh new mistakes. By the way, guys, if you want to get a shout out, keep those eyes peeled, as throughout the episode, there will be three codes that pop up on screen, and if you comment all three codes, I'll shout you out in our next video. Anyways, though, let's get into these Season 13 mistakes. Remember the time I got you these rocket skates? Uh, no. That's because we're making a new memory. <laughs> oh, happy friend anniversary! First up is the episode Friendiversary, which has a ton of mistakes in it. I'm surprised this episode just aired and it's filled to the brim with mistakes. Let's see if you guys can catch them. <laughs> Friend Happy friend anniversary, Squidward! It's all here in my Squidward memory book. What? Here's us at camp. Here's when I moved in right next door. Look at you, just like an angel. So this first one is a good old fashioned animation error where you can see it's a blatant mistake with the animation. I don't know what exactly happened here, but when SpongeBob shows his memory book to Squidward, um, Squidward's neck is to weaken because it's completely disconnected from his body. To be fair, it's only for a few seconds, but I mean, I'm zooming in on this. Look at that, man. How did that even happen? Yeah, poor Squidward, man. His neck is just, is not, is not how it's supposed to be. But let's keep it moving. There's more mistakes in this episode. Here's mistake number two. As I did it! Get out! Friend, 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 so this one is really bad, and honestly, it's one of the worst mistakes I've seen in season 13. So as you can see here, this is how the interior of Squidward's house looks, okay? He has like green wallpaper on his walls, and his floor is pink. We've seen it in so many episodes. Just take a look at this shot from Slimy Dancing. Well, I don't know what the animators were up to in this episode, because take a look at this shot from Friendiversary, as when SpongeBob's going into his house, his house's interior is Squidward house. It's funny because Squidward's door is open in this shot too and you can literally see his interior and it's like they just copied and pasted it to Spongebob's. This is how Spongebob's interior is supposed to look. You can even just see it from the Wikipedia page. But in this episode, they were feeling extremely lazy and just gave Spongebob the wrong inside to his house. Like, I'm honestly flabbergasted about this one. I don't even use that word often, guys. Flabbergasted. But your boy is flabbergasted. And believe it or not, that ain't even it. This episode has more mistakes. Here's the third one. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Remember the first time I startled you into this trash can? I go away! Go away! Call <laughs> <laughs> eraser! Call eraser's memories of me! Three mistakes in one episode, and this is a new episode. You'd think the animators would know about the mistakes, but anyways, this one isn't as bad. But normally, as you can see in this shot, Patrick's house has a path. But in Friendiversary, the path to Patrick's house appears and disappears multiple times throughout the episode. It's really weird. In this shot, it's here. and this shot, it's not there. So I don't know what was going on with this one, but the animators made a lot of mistakes, guys. But let's keep it moving and head over to another new season 13 episode. Yeah. Let's keep it moving. We need to make some room in your head for bike riding. How to watch TV? Nah, not important. Put on your pants? Overrated. Family? Eh, unnecessary. Ooh, I think someone's finally ready to ride a bicycle. Next up is the episode Ride Patrick Ride, which is all about Patrick learning how to ride a bike. He isn't very good at it at first, but he eventually gets pretty good. Here's some clips from the episode, really funny. Wanna go for a bike ride through jellyfish fields? I forgot I don't have a bike. I can teach you how to be an expert bicyclist. Ooh, ha! Ah. <laughs> Faster. Uh, faster? Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Oh, a little too fast there, Patrick. 
You know, of all people, I don't think SpongeBob should have been the one trying to teach Patrick how to ride anything, considering this dude can't even ride a boat. I know he can ride a bike in the episode, but SpongeBob, you're not a very good teacher. Anyways, though, let's get into the first mistake from this episode. This one is very easy to miss, and I'm very proud of myself for finding it. Roll the footage. <laughs> Becoming the greatest bicyclist who has ever lived, I present you the key to Bikini Bottom. So as you can see in this scene where SpongeBob and Patrick are pumping up the tires to Patrick's bike inside SpongeBob's house, Patrick's bike, the handles, right, have these like ribbons or beamers coming out of it, right? These stringy things coming out. It's red. It's right here. I'm circling it. Remember this, as during this scene where Patrick is getting a key from City Hall due to saving a bunch of people, it's so funny, those ribbons are not on the handles of his bike. And the reason this is really a mistake is seconds later in this same scene, look, he has the ribbons in this scene, the lady with the keys right beside him. But if we rewind for just a couple of seconds in this shot where it's zoomed out, he doesn't have the ribbons on his handles. So they're there in this shot, but in this shot, they're not there, making for a really weird mistake. I'm so proud of myself for catching this one. That's not it for this episode though. Here's the other mistake. <laughs> I didn't let go! <laughs> you need something to help you focus. Oh, hello? <laughs> So as you can see here, this is how Conch Street looks, right? Okay, the iconic street where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward live. And right beside SpongeBob's house is Squidward's house, right? As you can see in this shot. But in this episode, Ride Patrick Ride, whenever we get this view of SpongeBob's house, um, where is Squidward's house? I guess you could say it's farther to the left, but I mean, just look at some of these shots of Conch Street. No, it's directly to the left of SpongeBob's. So it should be visible in this shot, but I feel like the animators were just feeling kind of lazy and it would have been a lot more work to draw it so they just didn't draw it but whatever mistakes happen let's keep it moving and head over to another episode with some wild mistakes trust me guys you want to stay tuned Ah, you dust divinely! Now dust the back! Ah, the, the, the very good sir urchin, sir! And quack! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Why you? What I thought! Up next is the episode Sea Urchin and Snail Fail. And this episode is a really good one. Like, to be honest with you, all of these new season 13 episodes have been really solid. There's lots of Easter eggs, which by the way, we also did a video on that, but they're good episodes. Of course, they do have a mistake, but before that, here's some funny clips from this episode. Our favorite comedy team just broke up on live TV. As devoted fans, it's our duty to convince our two idols to get back together. Cotton and I broke up five minutes ago, and since then, times have been tough. Mm -hmm. You guys are so funny back then. <laughs> How would you like to be snail failed a second? What a <laughs> I know a stage where people would love to see you act. Hmm, really? He hath borne me on his fish tail a thousand times. <laughs> Ow! Like I said, it's a good episode, but I mean, the episode does have a mistake, guys, and the mistake's actually like really bad. It happens quickly, but let's see if you guys can spot it. It has to do with a certain starfish's shorts. I want the audience to know that I am a real thespian. Well, you wanna be a serious actor? Nobody's stopping you. Exit stage left. <laughs> You guys probably caught this one, but when Patrick is sitting on the couch and laughing with SpongeBob, um, the purple flowers on Patrick's pants disappear as he's laughing. Now, this was most likely more of like an animation glitch because they're there for the most part, but just during this one spot in the episode, they disappear and it looks so weird, dude. Like, it's so weird seeing Patrick just wear green pants like this, but hey, mistakes happen. Let's keep it rolling and head over to the next episode. Howdy, Bubba Bass! I reckon you're hankering for a delicious new dish! <laughs> <laughs> 
Stupidity. Sandy Cheeks has come up with a lot of revolutionary ideas for the Krusty Krab. For example, the episode where she comes up with a growth hormone that makes Krabby Patties bigger. But season 13's Hot Crust Nuts is definitely her biggest endeavor yet, with her making these nuts that do this. Here, take a look for yourself. I brought a little something of my own from home, from home, from home, from home. <laughs> Smoking barbecue nuts. There is no outside food allowed at the Krusty Krab. Come on, SpongeBob. I won't spill the nuts if you won't. Go. Try one. That's enough. I'm confiscating these unauthorized acres. Now this episode has two mistakes in total. Here's the first one, it's very easy to miss, and it has to do with the chum bucket. <laughs> you love the new look? I'm just here for the nuts. So take a look at these clips. The Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket are supposed to be directly across from one another. It's been seen like this in so many episodes, guys, but in some of these scenes from Hot Cross to Nuts, um, the Chum Bucket just isn't there. Even the path to the Chum Bucket is missing at times. It's just like the Chum Bucket just does not exist in this episode, which is totally a mistake. But guys, this next mistake is way worse. This one is really, really really bad. Huh? Hey everybody, this table's got that smoky Texas tag. No! Stop it! Be restaurant! No! So when all the incidentals start freaking out in eating the Krusty Krab, I want you to watch this in slow motion from the outside because the animators were really lazy with all of these incidentals. For one, they have no pupils. They have like literal just blank white eyes. Same thing with their mouth and multiple of them are duplicated. Like look at how many times the one with a blue shirt and a cowboy hat is shown. The main thing here is just they were very lazily drawn for this one section. And I get it, it's a quick section where they just eat the crusty crab, but yeah, there should have been some more effort put into these incidentals. This isn't season one, it's season 13. Now that's probably going to do it for today's video, guys, but a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. I love you guys. Seriously, all of you guys showing support, you guys mean so much to me, and even the Premiere Gang. Who's here at the Premiere? I'm probably chatting with you guys right now. By the way, to anybody who doesn't know, I've been streaming on Grapple lately. I play games with viewers, so I'll play Roblox with viewers, or I'll play Mario Kart in other games with viewers. There's footage on screen right now of me streaming, and uh, yeah, make sure to hit the bell. Here's a graphic showing you where you need to click. That way, you guys are notified whenever I go live. You guys will get a notification, and you guys can come hang with me. You guys can come hang out with Cartoon Corey. You watching this video right now can play games with Cartoon Corey. But yeah, I love you guys. Let me know if you found those three codes in the comments, and I'll be back tomorrow with more SpongeBob content, gang. Gang, 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 gang. I love you guys. Peace.